And in business, with months still ahead of the completion of the Dangote refinery in Onileki community, Lagos, the fear of deprivation is on the front burner as the community seeks government attention ahead of time. Plus, TV Africa's Marie Chinda visited the oil-producing community over the weekend and found in this report. This is the Onileki Kingdom in Ibejileki local government area of Lagos State. This community is on the map as currently hosting Nigeria's mega-project in oil and gas, the Dangote Refinery. But it is a tale of poverty and penury here as we catch up with villagers who tell us that the entire community has suffered a lack of power supply in the last 10 years. During the rainy season now, we don't enjoy ourselves here because of the rain. So we want, in, we want Dangote Refinery to do light for us and the drainage. And it appears electricity outage and the only challenge this host community has to grapple with. Another worry is that of environmental degradation as the Dangote refinery hits near completion. This informs the stakeholder meeting at the Palace of the Oba of Onileki between Code and the host community as to avoid a repeat of the Niger Delta maladies of oil spillage and youth restiveness. It's becoming daily, 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 daily difficult to carry out the fishing activities, both at the lagoon and uh, at the Atlantic. Now that we are experiencing any spillage now, because the oil producing are actually yet to start. Part of our role and responsibility is to build the capacity of the people of this community, enhance their capacity and make them understand what their rights are and their roles as community leaders are. With the refinery projected to create over 9,500 direct and 25,000 indirect jobs, the cry of the host community is for their youths to be included in the employment list. At that unfair education, Chinese from area in Luai, Nimbejuleki, Esali Leki areas, education to Nukwango and Fenyu Fatisi. If we can have light and the roads are good, then everything will come up. And people around here will enjoy the coming of Dangote. The Dangote refinery, when completed, will be the first privately owned indigenous refinery in the country. It is expected to be Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility. From Ibejileke in Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.